The Great Gospel of John Revealed from the Lord through the Inner Word to Jacob Lorber Volume 8, Chapter 185 to 187 Jesus' Prediction about the Four Fires of Purification We are already in the middle of it. Chapter 185 The First Two Kinds of Fire of Purification The Lord says, Then the innkeeper, the father of Cato, stood up and said, O Lord and Master, then how will it look like in the time of which you have said that the people will then be purified by fire before your return? And what kind of fire will it then be? I said, Yes, friend, that fire will be great and general need, distress, misery and sadness of a greater magnitude than the earth has ever seen. Faith will extinguish and love will cool off, and all poor races will lament and languish. But still, the great and mighty and the kings of this world will not help the supplicants because of their great pride, and by that also because of a too great hardness of their heart. So, one people will rise up against another and will attack them with weapons of fire. Because of that, the rulers will come into great depths that cannot be paid off and will afflict their citizens with unaffordable high taxes. Because of that, there will be an excessive high cost of living, famine, many malicious diseases and epidemics, and pestilence among the people, the animals and even the plants. There will also be heavy storms on the mainland and on sea, and earthquakes, and the sea will flood its shores in many places. And then the people will come into great fear and anguish because of the expectation of the things which will then come over the earth. All this will be allowed in order to turn the people away from their pride and their selfishness and their great laziness. The great and those who think of themselves to be mighty will be chastised with boredom and will by that be forced to come into action to free themselves from this torment. And look, this is the first kind of fire by which the people will be purified for my return. And in that same time, also the natural fire will play an extremely important role. The fire will drive on the ships over all the seas with a speed greater than that of the wind. Also, men will make with their sharp intellect iron cars and roads, and instead of pack animals, they will harness fire to the cars, and with this great power, they will drive off far over the earth, faster than an arrow that has been shot off. In this manner, they also will be able to control the lightning and make it the fastest transmitter of their wishes and will from one extreme of the earth to the other. And if they, the proud and greedy kings, will war against each other, the fire will render a great and decisive service, for by its great power, iron masses in the form of a sphere with a heavy weight will be flung with the speed of lightning to the enemy, the cities and strongholds, and cause great destructions. With these weapons, the inventive people will come to the point when soon no nation will be able to start a war against the other. For when two nations should attack each other with such weapons, then they easily and quickly will exterminate each other up to the last person, which would certainly not give a true victory and gain for neither one of them. Those kings and their generals will soon realize that, and that is why they will rather tolerate each other in peace and good friendship. And if somewhere a very proud and ambitious disturber of the peace should rise and would attack his neighbor, then the peaceful ones will unite themselves and chastise him. And in this way, the ancient peace will be set for the people on earth and will be established durably. If one will count from this my actual presence almost 1890 years, there will hardly be any more war on earth, and more or less in that time, also my personal coming on this earth will take place, and the greatest enlightenment of men will begin. Although there still will be wars among the more primitive peoples of the earth, 
but these will also soon become impossible among them. I will drive them together with the help of my righteous and my mighty kings and generals, and let them pour out my light among them. And then they also will be changed into peaceful nations dedicated to the light. Look, this is the second kind of fire by which the people will be purified. Chapter 186 The Third and Fourth Fire of Purification A third kind of fire will consist in the fact that I will awake already a few 100 years earlier even clearer enlightened seers, prophets and helpers, who will, in my name, just as clear and truthful, teach the peoples everywhere about everything, and will thus free them from all kinds of lies and deceit. They will clear the way for the downfall of false prophets and priests, even in my name. The latter will start, in a not too distant future, their evil beginning, and here and there they have started it in this my time already. They will, just like the pagan priests, perform false signs and wonders, and will deceive many people by which they will provide themselves with great earthly treasures, riches, might, and great prestige. But by the third fire and its most bright light, they will lose everything and go completely to ruin. And the kings and princes who want to help them will by that lose all their might, their wealth and their thrones. For I will awaken my kings and generals against them and will give them the victory. And so the ancient night of hell and its messengers among the people on earth will come to an end. As this night now consists in the pagan, blind and useless ceremony, which they call divine service, it will also exist in those times. But by the third kind of fire from the heavens, it will be entirely devastated and annihilated, because the lie will not be able to stand victorious in the battle with the light of the truth from the heavens. As less as the natural night can stand before the risen sun, it must flee in its most dark holes and depths, and those who stand in the light will search no more for the night. I've shown you now the third kind of fire that has an extremely destroying effect on the darkness of men. And so I also will show you a fourth kind of fire by which the earth, the people and all creatures will have to be purified by my second coming. This kind of fire will consist of all kinds of great natural upheavals of the earth. More precisely, on those places of the earth where men have built two big and beautiful cities, in which the greatest pride, lack of love, bad morals, false administration of justice, power, prestige, laziness, and with that also the greatest poverty and all kinds of need and misery will prevail, caused by a too strongly grown out epicurism of the great and mighty. In such cities, through excessive pursuit of profit, all kinds of factories will be built on a large scale, and instead of human hands, the work will be done by fire and water, together with a thousand different kinds of artful machines that are made of metal. The heating will be done by means of the ancient coals of the earth that men will acquire in extremely great quantities from the depths of the earth. Once such activity will have attained its highest point by the force of the fire, the air of the earth will become too strongly saturated on such places of the earth with combustible kinds of ether, and these will soon ignite here and there and transform such cities and regions, together with their many inhabitants, into ruins and ashes. And that will then also be a great and effective purification. But whatever the produced fire will not have accomplished, all kinds of great storms on earth will accomplish, for this will be necessary. For without necessity, nothing will be burned or destroyed. By that, the air on the earth will be freed from its bad vapors, and nature spirits as well. This will have a blissful influence on all other creatures on earth, and which will also benefit the physical health of the people. Because the many malicious bodily diseases will cease to exist and the people will be able to reach a healthy, strong and old age. Because the thus purified people will be standing in my light and will lively and truly keep forever the commandments of law from within, the earthly landed property will also be spread among the people in such a way that everyone will have so much 
that with the right kind of seal, he never will have to suffer need. The heads of the communities and also the kings, being entirely submitted to my will and standing in my light, will take care that there will never exist any need among the people. And I myself will once again, here and there, visit the people and strengthen and establish them in those places where the people will have the strongest desire for me and possess the greatest love for me. And with this, you have received now for you Greeks a very understandable answer to your question. Although it is a prediction for a still quite far away future, but it will not remain unfulfilled. For everything can perish sooner, even this earth and the whole visible sky, rather than one of my words and predictions would remain unfulfilled. Did you well understand this now? Chapter 187 The Conditions for the Return of the Lord The old innkeeper said, Yes, Lord and Master, we surely have all understood this very well. It is what concerns the four kinds of fires of purification for men and the whole earth, certainly not rejoicing or pleasant, and one could rightly ask why this is allowed by a supremely wise and supremely good God. But precisely because God is supremely wise and supremely good, he also will know best why he allows all these things. But we still do thank you for this prediction of the future, and we are now very glad that we live already now on this earth during your first coming. For as far as I have understood it now, it is in this time still considerably much better among men of the earth than it will be during your second coming. I certainly cannot have any idea where or what kind of great cities men will build in course of time, and how they will use the power of the elements, and even regulate and control the lightning. However, I and certainly all of us are glad that we do not understand it, and that we even can see that the power of the elements are guided by your wisdom and might. For if we would already understand it, then the terrible time of purification by the four kinds of fire would certainly come sooner than you, O Lord and Master, have announced to us now. But since you were now so merciful to inform us beforehand, as a sure fact that you personally and lastingly will come to men for a second time to this earth, then you still could tell us where on this earth you will come back to men. What will be the name of that country, the place, and that happy people? I said, Friend, on your question, I cannot give you an answer that you would understand. For in that time, many new places, countries and peoples will arise that still do not have a name now. But the fact that I will come back to earth to that country and in that place where among the people there will still be the most and greatest living faith and the most and greatest true love for God and fellow man, that you can accept and believe as completely sure and fully true. However, when I will come, I will not come alone, but all those who belong to me, who were already for a long time with me in my kingdom of heaven, will come with me in multitudes and will strengthen their brothers who are still walking in the flesh on the earth. And so, there will be a true communion between the already blissful spirits of heaven and the people of the earth, which will really mean a very great comfort to the people of that time. And now you know everything that was necessary for you to know. Act accordingly, then you will reap eternal life, for I will awaken you on the youngest day. Then Cato said, O Lord and Master, will this then already happen tomorrow? Because every new day is for us the youngest day. I said, I do not mean an earthly day, but a spiritual one in the beyond when you will have left your body and will enter into the kingdom of the spirits, then this also will be your youngest day, and I will free you from the judgment of matter. And this is the awakening on the youngest day.